Good morning, guys. How you doing today? It's a good day. Um, I want everybody to stop real quick, and we're just going to declare some, some scripture over our lives. Um, <laughs> I woke up today, and I was like, like, get off of me, devil. And I just started declaring this. And I said it about five or six times and it, it broke. I coughed a little bit. I was <laughs> and it was done. And I feel so much better. Like I, I'm ready to go face this day. Sometimes you just gotta do that. So let's let's do it together. If we're a fool, let us be fools for Christ. Okay. So um just say it with me. Stop right now and say it with me. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We declare and decree. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We put on the helmet of salvation. We have the mind of Christ, which is the wisdom of God the girdle of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of peace, the shield of faith, and the sword of spirit. We declare and decree we will have a good day because this is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, help us get into our zone. Help us get into everything that uh, uh, you want for us today. Let us miss nothing that you have planned for us, God. We praise your holy name. We thank you. We praise you. And we bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. We break off any witchcraft over this word, over any of these people. We bind and break off witchcraft and, and, and uh, anything, any hexes or anything like that that are coming against your people, God. We say no. You stand down, Satan, in the mighty name of Jesus. Woo, something just broke off there. God, we praise you. We thank you. We bless your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Okay, this one's real quick, but um, Father, put your words into my mouth. Speak through me from the spirit, not from the flesh. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Guys, he led me back to the Pharisees, okay? There's a little bluebird sitting over there. Um, there's a weird paradoxical relationship with salvation. And it's it's one of these things where it's a concept that is very difficult to grasp. And it's never like we fully understand it. There's like times where we we are walking in it and we comprehend it but then it's like you know it 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 shifts it it's it's faith it's when we're filled up with faith i i don't know how to explain it but uh he led me to hebrews 11 yesterday i i read the entire chapter and um we receive salvation through faith it's through faith in jesus christ in its faith in his finished work okay and it's humbling ourselves knowing that there's nothing that we could do to earn it okay this is kind of weird but <laughs> he showed me kid rock okay i was watching a you know kid rock's response to that knucklehead dylan mulvaney and he's shooting up the bud light cans and everything else and listen man like senior year i went to well, no, it might have been junior year, but I went to a Kid Rock concert, okay? Ba with a ba, mosh pit, like all of that, okay? So I kind of like Kid Rock. He's, I don't condone his music, guys. I'm not saying that. Please don't trip out. But he showed me Kid Rock, and I just, it was like an unction in my spirit. It, I was like, Kid Rock would bend a knee. And I'm serious. I heard the Lord say he would. He would bend a knee. And I realized that, like, a guy like Kid Rock knows that he's not a good guy. Like, he doesn't have any delusion in his head that he's a good guy. I mean, he's Kid Rock. He's rebellious. He's, like, he's not a good guy. But he's not going to pull any punches. And he tells the truth. And he didn't bend a knee to all these agendas. He didn't, he didn't you know, walk around with the face diaper 
and you know like bend the knee to all this crap like he stood up to it man and not only that he doesn't have any any preconceived idea that he's a good person so if he ever got to heaven, it would only be on the fact that he knows that it's not on his merit. Okay, that's the difference between a Pharisee and somebody who's righteous by faith. Okay, and I don't know his his standing with the Lord. Let's pray for him. Um, let's pray for people like that, man. I don't know where they're at in their walk or anything like that. Maybe he's made peace with God. But guys, this isn't anything you have to do. It's nothing that I have to do. It's it's already there. It's a gift. It's been given. And if you receive that humbly, knowing exactly your standing, then you understand like how cool it is, how good of a gift it is. I want to read something to you. This is the this is the scripture that he gave me. Okay. This is Luke 18. It's the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector. It says, uh, it's 18.9 is where we're going to start. Also, he spoke these parables to some who trusted in themselves, that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. Man, I get a little choked up. <laughs> the Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. God, I thank you that I am not like the other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I possess. And the tax collector, standing afar off, would not so much as raise his eyes to the heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to the house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled. And he who humbles himself will be exalted. Uh, my dad passed this last year. And the Lord had me write down some stuff for him because he hadn't made his peace yet with the Lord. And I took that to him and I gave it to him. Because he didn't get it. He he didn't understand. I He carried along, around a lot of dirt from his past. Because he, you know, he made a lot of mistakes. He's a good guy, though. And uh, he got it when I, when I said that to him. Guys, it's not about us. It's about everything God done. It's everything the Lord has done for us. It's not what we have to do for him. I know there's so many of you guys hurting right now. You're going through it. You're realizing where we're at. You're realizing how close we are. Everything else. That's it. That's the heart. Okay? You will never have to taste the sting of death. You will never have to taste the sting of death. Whatever it is, I don't care. Just give it to God. Lay it down. Because it's not on us. It's on Him. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. Give it to God. Lay it down. I don't care how far you've gone. Whatever it is, guys, lay it down. He's good all the time. He loves us. He's more concerned about saving us than we're about. We're concerned about getting there. Okay? That's how much he cares about us. So, if you haven't made a decision for Christ today, just do it now. Don't wait. Write it in the comments. We'll pray with you guys. Um... God bless you guys today. These are tears of like rejoicing. I know that it's kind of strange. I, I'm kind of a, a softy when it comes to this stuff, though, guys. This is what really, it, it lights my fire. I want to see salvation win. I want to see the good guys win on this. And the good guys are the bad guys. It's like a weird thing. But um, I want to see, I want to see lives redeemed. And, and people change their lives for the better. So God bless you guys. Have a great day. Hustle today. Go make that money. Uh, we're lifting you guys up in prayer. Thank you guys for all the prayers for us. Um, God bless you. Have a good day.